Well, Americans have been leaning on credit cards since the pandemic, and Capital One's bid for Discover is a bet that's not stopping soon. Meanwhile, more consumers have also turned to buy now, pay later loans to sidestep rising interest rates. Karen Kafer reports on what households can do to keep up with what you owe. This week, Capital One announced a $35.3 billion deal to acquire Discover Financial Services. If approved, more changes could be on the way for Americans who have leaned on credit cards since the pandemic amid inflation and higher interest rates. With collective credit card debt over $1 trillion, the Federal Reserve Bank of New York has also been looking at the boom in buy now, pay later installment loans, which allow consumers to make short-term installment payments on travel, concert tickets, apparel, and more without incurring interest. Their research found Americans who are already facing some financial troubles use these offerings more often, with the majority using them five or more times a year. Because of the lack of data and formal regulation around buy now, pay later, or BNPL loans, Odysseus Papadimitriou, CEO of the personal finance company WalletHub, worries that lenders don't have a comprehensive look at how much a household owes. A lot of these lenders do not have, even the mainstream lenders, even the credit card companies do not have a good picture of what's going on with an individual customer. That puts more responsibility on consumers to keep track of what they owe, from credit cards to BNPL. Experian recommends a budgeting app to keep it all in one place, setting up auto pay to avoid missing due dates and paying off BNPL loans early, if possible. In Washington, I'm Karen Kafa.